Dacha Hao, Wosha Michael Larson, Wosha Nima Depung you. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Larson from BBC IML, and this is a moment with Mike here by Lake Superior again this evening. I just tried to get this started just a moment ago, but uh, I lost connection, so back on now with the connection. And uh, I was continuing on with building uh, social my social media imprint, and as I've been talking about all along, that is. Uh, that is what has happened with the current situation, the pandemic that's going on in the world. It's changed everything and it's not going to go back. It's never going to be the same again. So we have to change right along with it. And I've been kind of talking about how we do that, but I'm learning how to get, uh, get through this. Uh, to, to, I'm learning how to, to take care of social media. So I came out and sat in this chair and uh, it was still a little moist here so my, my butt got a little wet from the chair but uh, otherwise uh, it's comfortable out here today and one of the questions I put out there today is if you could go back to when you were younger and give that person some advice what would it be and a lot of people talked about well I'd invest in Microsoft or I'd invest in Apple or I'd invest in uh, a number of other ways you could and I think about that, and back then, maybe whatever time that was for you, maybe it was 15 years ago, maybe it was 25 years ago, maybe it was 40 years ago, but when that time was, there was people then talking, well, if I could just go back into time, I would have invested in this. That's always going to be there. It's always there. And we have to learn from these experiences, and we have to search out either we have to be happy with with the way things have gone in our lives we got to the point in our lives now because of all the experiences we had and we are who we are now because of those experiences and you go back and you change those and you change your experiences but you got to learn from those experiences those were your anchors both positive and negative and and those types of situations where you can have something that you can invest on are here now also and right now we're going, I'm going through that. I had a, had a conversation today with one of my partners from China. And this, is, this has been a struggle. It has. It has. But I, I welcome that struggle. I really do. The, the, the struggle is what, what makes us better. And what happens, I think what part of my partner's issue, and, and I've had this issue in the past too, is that you, you have these grand plans of how you can see things happening. But most of the time when we make these grand plans, we've never been there before. If we've been there before, we just continue to do what we're, we're doing. So how can we know exactly what it's gonna take? How can we know that we're gonna be at this point and this point in time until we've actually done it and we've gotten there? It isn't that easy. So when we get there and we haven't gotten to exactly what we want to get to, as humans, we have a tendency to look down on ourselves, to get a little frustrated with ourselves and say that it didn't work. Well, it, if you look back to where you were and what you've accomplished from that time to where you got to where you are now, and you focus on what you accomplished and realize every day you were accomplishing something new, if you were pressing yourself and you were doing the things you should be doing and living on the edge of frustration, then you could feel good about what you've achieved to that point and realize, yeah, I didn't get to where I wanted to be yet, but it's still coming. And I know that can be frustrating. I've, I've felt that many times myself. But the difference between underachievers and overachievers are, when the underachiever gets there, they, they were focused on the plan. And the plan, the original plan rarely works. It's the idea we need to focus on. And they forget about the reason that they want to get to that idea. And they think it's all in the plan. And when the plan fails, well, that wasn't going to work. Well, the people that really succeed in everything they want, they push through those things. And, and in life, if you notice, quite often when you get to that point in time where you're a little stuck, and you look back at all the times that has happened, it's almost the same thing every time. And we either do one of two things. We either focus on the plan and we give up at that point. The plan didn't work. Or we focus on, hey, this is the idea I wanted. This plan didn't work. I got to push through it. 
And when you push through it and you find another way to do that, that is going to turn into your superpower. Most people, most people never push through that. But the ones that truly succeed in life continue to push and continue to push and don't lose faith and know that the other side of it is there. And this is what I believe is that when we get an idea in our mind, it doesn't come from us. I believe it comes from God. Maybe you're not Christian. Maybe, maybe it comes from someplace else like universal law for you. But it comes from someplace and it's all connected with energy. The idea didn't happen necessarily in your mind. It was passing through there because you were in the right frequency to attract it. And when it comes, there's balance in the universe. So that idea has everything it needs. You got the spiritual side of it. There's the intellectual side of it. And then there's the physical side of it. And the physical and the spiritual are the opposite of each other. Everything in the universe has to be in balance. So if the spiritual side of it is there, the idea that comes into your head, if that is there, the physical side is already there because it has to be in balance. So it can happen. In fact, it will happen. The only way it can't happen is that if you give up on it or you don't continue to change your plan and find the right plan to make it work. And that's what makes you different because there's always that one thing that stops us. It's true about every one of us. Some of us get frustrated about it and we go on and try something else because we didn't like the plan. And that's perfectly all right if you do that. Others of us uh, find a way to get through that, to change the plan, to realize it's still there. And that thing we get over, that hurdle we get over, that stepping stone we get over, that turns into our superpower at that point. We realize, I can get past that hey, it really wasn't all that bad. In fact, when you get the, on the other side of it, the results are incredible. And they make all of that worthwhile. And once you start to see that happen over and over and over again, and you focus on what you're growing instead of what you're not achieving, then it becomes your skill. And then you never look back again. But we all have to get to that point in our life on something that we need to achieve. We have to realize that we can overcome that and that becomes our, our power but you can't give up on it. The idea was there. If the idea is in your head, the physical side of it is out there. And if you haven't achieved it yet, one of two things have happened. You even ha haven't gotten to the right plan yet, or you're letting yourself get in the way and you're procrastinating. And procrastinating comes in many, many, many forms. Procrastination is, oh, well, I just don't have the money. Yeah, you, you, that might be right. You don't have the money. But the physical side of it is still there. There is another way. You just have to step back further. Well, then I have to earn the money first. Don't let that stop you. Maybe you say you're not capable of it. Well, that's just stepping back again. Well, I need to learn how to be capable then. I don't have the time. Okay, well, then I guess it wasn't important enough for you. You take the time, no matter how much time it takes, if it's that important to you. But those are always procrastination. If you do not reach the idea you had in your head, you did procrastinate. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. So being able to overcome that is what makes the difference between achievers and non-achievers. And every single solitary one of us comes across this in our life, probably multiple times. And we either go back to the way it was and decide that's good enough and that's okay if you do that, or you push on and you actually get to that idea that you had the choice for. You know, I, it, when I was young, I had the dream of being a hockey player, a professional hockey player. I had that idea. So it was possible for me, somehow, some way, but I didn't want to go through all the hard work and all the things that you have to do to become a professional hockey player. So I didn't make the idea big enough for me. And that's okay. I didn't become a professional hockey, hockey player, but, and, and some people do have the skill, some people don't. But maybe the hockey player wasn't the idea. Maybe the idea was that you wanted to have notoriety, that you wanted to be noticed, that you wanted to be, uh, you wanted to have people look up to you. And that's still the idea. And maybe the hockey was just a plan and you needed to find a different plan to make that happen. So be cognizant of what the actual idea is. What is it that you want to get out of that? 
and realize the difference between a plan and the idea. Your plan might change a thousand times before you actually get to the idea. But when you do, when you get through all those plans, you've done something few people ever do. And you've now created a superpower because now you know you can do it anytime you want to do it. So I hope this finds you well. Uh, I hope the weather's as nice there as it is where it is here. Man, this has just been an incredible stretch of weather. It's been a little warm a couple of days, a little humid, but uh, it's beautiful right now. If you have a subject you'd like me to uh, talk about, um, I see Chad's telling me you want to be like Mike. <laughs> well, thank you, Chad. Uh, I see Lance is here. Thanks for, for, shot, for coming and watching. Gertie and uh, anybody else that I might have missed. I appreciate you coming on. And if you have a subject you'd like me to go over, please email me at mike at inspiredmotivatedleadership.com or you can text me on uh, Messenger. Or if we're on here, give me an idea right here. In fact, I'd, I wouldn't mind turning one of these into a Q&A. If people have some questions about something, if there's something you're stuck on, give me a little bit of history of it. We can work it out. I thank you for your time. And tomorrow night we'll be here at 7 o'clock again. And we'll talk soon.